What's up everybody, Will Borza here, the LA Recordist. It's the analog vlog, it's a vlog, analog. So tonight I'm working on some mixes for a TV show. I have to do five cues, getting a good mix and then stemming out individual stems per instrument so that the people on the TV show have stuff to work with, not just a tube track. But before I get to that, I figured I'd talk to you guys about monitoring levels. I think it's something that is largely underlooked in this field and it's definitely worth talking about. Now there's plenty of rules of thought when it comes to this. Uh, I know one of the more popular ones is the K system, which I have set up here, uh, but it does tend to drift and it actually takes a decent amount of maintenance um, regularly if you're not working in a Dolby approved 5.1 surround room that's been treated and everything is like perfect. Most of us are not mixing in those scenarios, so sometimes the case system can get a little bit laborious. But um, you can take sort of the principles of the case system and make it a lot easier as just sort of general guidelines rather than hard fast rules. So here's how I do it and I recommend you do something similar. I will go to my reference tracks first and I usually reference in Spotify because it's easy to do. And I will start playing the song and I'll bring the song up volume wise on my um I'm using I'm using this guy these days the uh, Apogee Groove I'll bring it up to a, a good healthy listening volume once it's there I'll hit pause and I'll turn up the volume about I don't know six clicks more which probably equates to about 25 percent to 50 percent louder so that if I were to hit play again on my reference track, it would hurt my ears. Then I'll go into Spotify and I will turn down the output gain uh, in Spotify natively. And if you're using SoundCloud to reference, you can do the same there. iTunes, you can do the same there. YouTube, you can do the same there. Basically, pretty much, pretty much anything that you're referencing has its own native volume control that you can turn down. But I'm getting off the track. The point of turning up your master volume a little bit louder is that you have given yourself extra headroom for mixing. Because if you were to mix up into digital zero, it would be too loud, right? Because digital zero would be matching roughly digital zero in Spotify, digital zero on YouTube, digital zero in iTunes, etc. So that basically creates unlimited headroom because you would never actually mix to the full loudness that you have your gain turned up on your master volume. It would hurt. You've basically eliminated the possibility of bumping up into the red, going over zero and peaking, because it would physically hurt to mix too loud. So it's kind of a quick tip. It's pretty easy to set up. The idea is simply find a comfortable listening volume with your regular songs that you would listen to, then pause that, turn up the volume a little bit more, and then start mixing. Just don't forget to turn down Spotify, turn down YouTube, turn down whatever you're referencing, because it will be too loud if you forget and you switch over to reference something. So there you go, that's my tip for the day. I'm gonna go get on those mixes, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.